Hello everybody, today we're turning into Hal, the Norse goddess of death. Um, this look turned into very interesting. I ended up <laughs> having so many problems while I was doing this. As you probably can, if you watch the vlog, the full version, you'll see all of it. But um, I'm using um, Mayron Makeup's uh, Paradise Paint right here in the color Sea Green, I do believe. And then I'm just putting that everywhere. Kind of where I'm not putting it, where I'm putting like the fur cloak type thing. So... You'll see, like, like, that's not there. But, like, the rest is there. But, um, yeah, so just putting that everywhere. And then once that is all done, I'm going to be moving on to doing some other stuff here. But, as I said, I'm doing a Greek god, Not Greek goddess. This is a Norse goddess. This is Norse goddess. I'm a struggle bus. 10 out of 10. Struggles are real. I'm adding shadows in now. Like, from the shirt to my skin area. You'll see Pixie in the background. She's my gorgeous baby. Um, but yeah, I spilled water, all my paint water, just everywhere. So yeah, that's where the cut is. I was, I had to clean up. I <laughs> spilled all my paint water, just, just everywhere, just absolutely everywhere. So like, you have the cloak. I'm just doing shadows. That's what I'm doing. I, I did not explain those. I changed their train of thought. Sorry. I just like to do this as no cuts. Just all thoughts. <laughs> but yeah, so shadows, kind of where the borders are, where the cloak is, underneath all that type of stuff. And then I'm going on to do the kind of bronze medallions that are kind of holding the cloak on. And you'll see I like had like a pattern. I'm, I still tried doing that for the most part, but like it gets changed. Like it 100% gets changed. But yeah. So then I'm just outlining it in a black um, liner here from NYX. The one I kind of always use, it's the Epic Ink Liner. And yeah, just 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 really trying to put in that design that I had before, but like touching it up slightly. And then I'm gonna go in and do some shadows on it and some highlights um, with another Mayron paint. I'm not 100 sure the name on it. I don't have it in front of me. And I'm not pulling that palette out to figure that out. But yeah, so just kind of like this like curly, curly cue, snake, snakeish type design. But yeah, this is like a tan paint from Mayron makeup palette. It's in the pastel palette. Um, and then I'm also using just a titch of NYX Cosmetics bronze, like, liquid liner, but it's not, like, 100% like that, but yeah, just doing some shadows in here, just kind of give it some depth and dimension. And then adding in that bronze color, just to kind of give it a, a little bit of a sheen, like a little bit of shine. Not that you're really going to see it, but I felt like I needed to do that. Now I'm starting in with the actual cloak. Um, I'm going to do black as kind of like a base for everything. But you like the main color of it's going to be more gray. But I feel like it needed a black just kind of like everything to sit on. And while this is kind of sitting, I said I was going to do my foundation on my left hand side. My V brush was in the mess of all the paint water spilling. And I decided, I, you know what, I'm going to put some concealer on and I'm going to go grab a brush. You know what happened when I grabbed a brush? I got a black line. <laughs> and you know what I decided? I'm going to go run with it. We're just going to add that as part of the look. I wasn't going to do the Norris like, war paint on my face. But I decided we were just going to add that in because of that whole black line. There was no way I was fixing that and like hiding it. So I just decided to just incorporate it in part of the look and kind of just smudge it out and make it you know, as I said, part of the look. And I was looking up other, de like, other versions of, like, the war paint to find other versions. So I kind of found this one that kind of, like, had the, like, solid line across the face and then dots above it. And then it technically had, like, a line going through the eye, but I thought that'd be too much with everything else, considering I was already going to be doing kind of a Marvel-inspired hell with the eye makeup, which is really heavy, like, in the inner on like on the nose bridge to the upper um brow and then like just black throughout like the main thing and like really blown out i thought the the line straight down would just be too much though it still would work 
kind of thing. It would still work because a lot of war paint is a lot and it's supposed to look intimidating. So like I could have done it, but I decided not to. But yeah, going back in now with a gray body paint. This is uh, Storm Cloud from Mirror Makeup. And then it's a fan brush to kind of give it kind of a furish texture. I'm doing that just everywhere. One side I did end up liking a lot more than I did the other side. But like, you can't tell. And I just moved the camera so that way it was more like dead on. Because you couldn't really see what I was doing on my right side of my face. No, that's not my right side. That's my left side. My left side of my face. <laughs> But um, yeah, so again, just doing the same thing. And then I'm taking a uh, white, this is Yeti by Made You Look to just do some more, more like fur texture, kind of giving it more of that lighter gray tone. Like it's like from a wolf or something, I don't know. And then just using some black eyeshadow from ColourPop, I believe, or it was in the, no, it was in NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. And then just a little bit of shading kind of around where the bronze piece is. And then I'm taking just some white liquid liner. You'll see it kind of popping it out. I'm grabbing it and then not grabbing it. Just to add more fur texture and make it really stand out. But first I decided to go to my bras. Bras? Those are my brows. That's not a bra. <laughs> Anyways. White. Liner. This is the side I ended up not liking as much as I liked the other side. I just felt like the the gray, the white that I did on the side was a bit on the first side was a bit too much, and I liked it a bit more on the other side, which is why you'll see in the in the pictures like for the video and like what I post on Instagram, have the other side exposed and the this side is kind of hidden, and then just blending in the black um, from the skull piece into the actual um, fur cloak, so it's not like as dramatic of a difference. And then using some bone tone to actually add the skull in here. And then I'm also going to add some Yeti into that just to kind of lighten it up a bit more from my face. And then we're putting the teeth in. I think I actually did too much teeth. I know, a weird a concept, but I think I did too much teeth. I should have done less teeth. But then uh, black for like the eye socket, black where the nose goes, black where the jawline goes. I think the jaw, if I were to do it again, I take away some of the teeth. Because this person's got a lot, a lot of teeth. But this is, this is a goddess. Who says they have the same number of teeth that humans have? <laughs> but yeah. So then I'm just going back in, kind of giving a little bit of separation between where the skull is and where um, my face is. A lot of depictions of how um, the Norse mythology kind of, she has half her face as a skull and the other half is just a normal, pretty, beautiful woman. So that's kind of what I'm trying to replicate there. And then I'm just adding in some textures and whatnot where um, the teeth are going to go and kind of all the, the bone structure. But then I'm actually going to take the NYX Epic Ink Liner and do some more like liner action, like kind of more sketchy look to it. So you'll see me adding like just a bunch of details as I go about um, the look here. I'll add more shadows as we go too, just to kind of more deepen up some spots, kind of give them more some more depth and dimension, kind of give myself a brow. Wasn't really intentional, but yeah. Then just adding, as I said, just a bunch of, just a bunch of lines just everywhere, just to kind of give it more of a sketch feel to it. So it kind of goes with the sketchness of the, the cloak, but like not really. Just, it just gives it some character really. It's just character. And then I'm adding a white liner on top of that as well. Just give some highlights to it because I definitely felt like it needed just some highlights. And then again, I'm just going to go loading it in a minute here with a bunch of shadows. So yeah. And then I'm going to take a black uh, liquid lipstick to my other lip. Just kind of go in. I was trying to figure out which uh, hair color to do. 
I was debating between red. I had like a platinum blonde and then I had a black one. And so I asked my mom and she said, you need to go black. And she said, quite like black slash wicked. That was, those were her exact words. I was like, okay, bet. A lot of fictions have her with like black hair that's like split with platinum on the other side. So I said, just use the black because I don't have a split wig. I need to get a split wig. And then I decided to add um, some braids in, put just the upper section kind of half pinned back. A lot of depictions for Viking when hairstyle have that, so that's what I was doing. And then I remembered that I had the little connection pieces um, between the little things I was actually holding up a cloak that to connect it together. So adding that in, that's using oak, and then I'm going to add some shadow in that eventually once I finish the braids, of course. But yeah, so... What is everyone's favorite, like, gr- mythology, and then from that mythology, your favorite god slash goddess? I put on the wig, I realized I kind of messed up my forehead, so I kind of blended that out just really, really quick. I like the Hades and Perfe- Persephone, like, tale. It's one of my favorites, but, like, there's a lot of good ones. I do like Loki a lot. Loki's a good one, too. Loki just is also a trickster. <laughs> Like, he just gets bored and's like, let's do this today. <laughs> but yeah, uh, then just adding some lashes, some mascara, um, and then just a little bit more liner to my art line. And I'm using um, a style called Legendary on my lashes. Just on the one side that's like the beauty side, I don't have it on the skull side. And then, yeah, just kind of blend it out a little bit more. And that's the complete look. I did FaceTime my mom to give her a reaction. But you can see that in the full vlog. I'm not going to have it here. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Have a good rest of your day. I love you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.